Welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the week 15 of best new mods for Skyrim and Skyrim Special Edition. No week has passed without a pack of beautiful and interesting mods, so let's go and see them all. And Legends, Weapons and Vestments. It is a pretty small SKC mod, but with an absolutely fresh and brilliant idea. In each Elder Scrolls game we see a lot of weapons and armors that was used by legendary heroes and that's why these items are usually much more powerful and have unique magic effects. But what about Dragonborn? At the end of your travels, aren't you already a legend too? So, the idea is simple. The more enemies you kill, the better your items will be. So now, even an iron sword in the hands of legendary hero can be even more powerful than Daedric weapon. There is also an MCM menu when you can configure progress speed and limitations. Ancient Egyptian Nile Mod author created a historical Tamed Giza style pyramid temple complex intersected by a tributary of the Nile and surrounded by a city and mountains. While there are no NPCs and quests here at the moment, it really captures the feeling of being in that ancient time. At the moment, this is mainly for having that feeling of traveling to ancient Egypt, exploration and screenshots. And trust me, there are a lot of places to take them. The location itself is really full with details and very close to real historical look. There are hidden chambers and tombs with great treasure and royal residences in the temples. The Great Pyramid even has chambers and interiors based loosely on historical designs. Even it is still without NPCs, it is just a beautiful place to visit. And now, two more awesome creature mods from Mikhail Monsters and Animal series. First one is Ancient Nordic Sentinel. And what can I say here? It is freaking huge! I personally would install this mod just to see that size in my game. Ancient Nordic Sentinel is something close to Stone Atronax. They are magical creatures and, knowing their enormous size and strength, they usually can be met guarding ancient Nordic dungeons that are being tombs of the dragon priests, but sometimes also can be met near the bandit camps too. These giants are incredibly strong, and their blows can one-shot you easily, so learn their combat tactics in order to be able to kill them. They also drop some unique Nordic loot. Second one is Larchers and Brianhard trees. Larchers are a more masculine variant of Spriggan, accursed creatures. Usually they can be found within swamps and forests. The most common Larcher creation method is a through a Richman ritual that corrupts Spriggans and the environment, turning the Spriggans into Larchers, killing wildlife and growing huge, twisting, poisonous vines. These totems are used to corrupt the Spriggans and spread corruption. Mod also adds so-called brine heart trees, terrific trees growing from the dead human bodies, making creepy and disturbing sounds. When you encounter this cursed tree, you most likely want to destroy it, but be prepared, as these trees are definitely not alone. Have you ever wanted to have your own little piece of paradise? If yes, download Home Sweet Wally. It adds a peaceful and beautiful volley, alleys, dining terraces and of course a beautiful player home. While the player home itself is obviously not law friendly as it looks pretty modern, well, who cares? It is your player home and if you like it, you take it. It is really beautiful and original, full with tons of clutter and giving you a really cozy and comfortable atmosphere. I don't even need to talk here much. Let the pictures show more than a thousand words.
I personally always wondered why nightingales have only sword and a bow as the weapons, when it is almost obvious that the most fitting weapon for apprentices of Nocturnal is a dagger. Now you can have a nightingale dagger, stylish, with betel textures and looking absolutely law friendly. It is also dual sheet redux compatible, so you can use two nightingale daggers at once. Vanilla Castle Volkehar looks great, but as well as the most of noticeable places and buildings, it has really not so good textures. Try Northfire's Castle Volkehar. High resolution, 2K and sometimes 4K, sharp, detailed and simply beautiful, making Vampire Lord Castle greater and more glorious than ever. If you are a Witcher series fan or just love beautiful medieval-like armors, take a look at the Witcher 3 Woven Armor mod. Models and textures are taken from Witcher 3 game and look just great. Also, if you like this one, I recommend you to check mod author's profile, as there are a few more another great looking Witcher armor mods from him. I am finishing today's episode with another great player home mod. Meet the Vikings Lonehouse. Unlike previous one, Vikings Lonehouse is absolutely law friendly. It is a Nordic themed player home, located next to the Hlaur farm near Windhelm. Mod Auto tried to reconstruct a historical Viking Lonehouse based on information and pictures about their lifestyle and the houses of the Nordic people, combining that with Skyrim's usual gameplay. And what can I say here? The result is just great. That's all for now people, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to enable channel notifications to not miss the new episodes and, as always, stay tuned. Scimitar Gaming here, signing out.